So, so if you think about what learning is, in a sense, what you're doing is you're looking at particular instances of something and trying to abstract away from it. So if a little kid recognizes dogs or cats, it's not like they remember every dog or cat image they've ever seen in their two, three, four years of life. It's just that they've abstracted away some concept from it and that's what's in their minds. I'm an engineer and so I think about my job as putting science to work. And so the science is in understanding how humans do it. And then the engineering is in taking that and then applying it to something else where you can do useful things with it. For example, trying to build intelligent machines. And so I think about my work as statistical modeling of data. So you have some observed data and you have some uh, meaning or semantic interpretation of that data. Then you want to go from the signal, a particular realization, to an abstract representation. Build models of it so that your computer can then recognize, process, quote-unquote, understand that signal. And uh, one of the things we were thinking about is about how we want to train surgeons. All right now, the most uh, prevalent method of training a surgeon is to have them do some uh, practice tasks. This is tying a knot, this is pulling a suture tight, this is snipping it, and so on. And have an expert surgeon watch them and give them feedback. So we thought that if a machine could recognize what the surgeon is doing, if they could assess the expertise of how something is being done, whether it's being done well or not, then perhaps we can give the trainee surgeon more supervision when the expert cannot be present, so they can practice on their own. And then if you take this example further and think about the robotic surgery things with the Da Vinci and uh, other teleoperated surgery robots, then you can start thinking about managing surgeries in a much more intelligent way. See, machines have very different capabilities from humans. We're still trying to figure out how to help them do the right abstractions. But what machines do very well, which we cannot do, is actually remember the exact surgical sequence and all the 10,000 surgeries it has seen. By essentially having everything instrumented, like, you know, everything that the surgeon's doing is being recorded by this computer. So if a computer could then analyze it on the side, then you could have much more effective interventions, you could decide when a different strategy needs to be taken, when a surgeon needs to be warned, and so on and so forth. So this is where machines and humans are very complementary, and this is where we think that when it comes to learning, we can teach machines how to learn better, and they can in turn help us learn better. So this is where the interaction between machine learning and human learning comes about.